everyone! My name is Lacey and welcome back to the Attractive Japan YouTube channel. This is a part of my series for travel advice for your trip to Japan. So today we're going to talk about payment methods in Japan. So bringing money with you or how you plan on paying things is in an important part of your trip and an important part of the preparation. So Japan varies on a few things um, payment wise and this is important. First off and number one most important part, cash is king in Japan. Cash is king. In the cities there is likely to be support but in some shops and especially in the countryside many shops do not accept credit cards, phone payments, Apple Pay or checks or most places in Japan don't ever accept checks so this is very important always make sure to have at least some cash with you especially at train stations too aside from that many places do allow you to use credit cards and even if you can't find a place to use a credit card 7-elevens family mart all of the big convenience store chains will have an ATM that accepts international credit cards so that you can withdraw cash um, and most of the popular credit cards here or supported credit cards here are Visa, MasterCard and JCB which is a Japanese bank. So credit cards are always good to have with you as well and if you're in the bigger city more likely than not most of the places will have support for credit cards. Um, contactless options. With Corona contactless options and payment methods have increased. Um, the support is still a little on the lower end, but most major chains will accept this form of payment. They include cell phone based apps such as PayPay, Line Pay, and RPay, which are popular methods for payment in Japan, and digital wallets such as Apple Pay and Google Pay. Those are some of the more common options. There are also card based contactless options, including Quick Pay and train cards such as Suica. So if you want to buy an IC train card loaded up, you can use it at convenience stores for vending machines and some other places as well. Um, another payment option that some people use here in Japan is bank transfer. Just sending money over sometimes when you purchase something online or if you buy something from Amazon or pay a friend or something like that, this is a good option. I just want to reinforce one more time though, there are no checks or very little check support here in, in Japan. I know in the US it's still a popular option or some people like to use traveler checks. Um, I personally have never been able to find support for checks, so remember that. Keep your credit card, keep your cash, and maybe a contactless option and you'll be set to go. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them down below. I am happy to answer them and help you plan your next trip to Japan. The world is starting to open up, so let's embrace it and let's travel. I know I'm excited. Um, and always remember to give this a thumbs up, subscribe for more, and check out my other travel advice videos. Thank you and see you next time.